Hey guys, hope you're well. So in this lesson, we're going to do some compound interest practice questions. I've already showed you compound interest. Remember that lesson we did where we looked at compound versus simple? Well, now we're just going to practice the compound interest. So, whoopsie, here's our first example. Let me just make sure that that's the first one. Yes, Vuyo takes out a 20,000 Rand loan from APSA Bank. He will pay it back after three years. Interest will be 10% per year, compound. Determine the total that Vuyo will pay back. Okay, so year number one, then we'll do a calculation for year number two, and then we'll do a calculation for year number three, and then we will total, uh, oh no, then we'll have the answer. So in year number one, we're gonna take, uh, it's 10% of 20,000, so we're gonna say 10% of 20,000. Now remember, of means times, and if you do this, you should get 2,000 Rand. So that means that the total that Vuyo is gonna owe the bank is gonna be 20,000 Rand, which he owes them, plus 2,000 Rand. So he'll owe them 20,000, plus they've now added a 2,000 Rand interest. It's almost like a penalty, so it's 22,000, right? It's not a penalty, but you can think of it like that. So now when you go into year number two, you don't use 2,000 Rand. That would only be if we were doing simple interest. The way that compound works is we take the new amount and that becomes our starting one. So now we say 10% of that. So 10% of 22,000. And that's gonna give you 2,000. 200 rand. So now we take the 22,000, we add on 2,200, and that's going to give us uh, 24,200. Now, moving into year number three, this number here becomes our new starting number, okay? So then it becomes 10% uh, of 24,200, and that'll be uh, 2,420 Rand, and so if you then say 24,200 plus 2420, that'll give us 26,620, and that'll be your final answer. You invest 5,000 Rand. The investment earns 15% per year, compounded, how much will your investment be worth in three years? Okay, so year number one, year number two, and year number three. So we just start with 15% of your investment, which is 5,000 Rand. If we go and work that out, you'd end up with 750 Rand. So you would now, your investment would now be worth 5,000 plus 750, and that'll be 5,000 750 Rand. That becomes your starting number for the um, year number two. So we say 15% of 5,750. If you calculate that, you end up with 862 Rand and 50 cents. So then you add those two numbers together, 5750 plus 862.50, and that'll give you six. 61250. That becomes the starting number for your last year. And so we're going to say 15% of 661250. And that gives us 991. Now we're just going to round to two decimal places 0.88. And then we just add those two numbers together. So that becomes 661250 plus 991.88, and that'll give us 7604.38 as our final answer. Here's our last question. Margot takes out a loan of 20,000 Rand. Interest is 8% per year. The loan will be paid back in three years. How much will Margot pay back? And then determine the monthly payment. Okay, so we're going to do year number one. For question A, we're going to do year one, year two, and year three. So for year number one, it's 8%. So we're going to say 8% of 20,000, and that will give you 1,600 Rand. 
So the loan will now be, she now owes them 20,000 plus they've added another 1,600. So she now owes them 21,600. For year number two, we will now use this amount over here. So we'll say 8% of 21,600 and that'll be 1728. You add these two numbers together now. So 21,600 plus 1728, and that'll be 23328. And now that becomes your starting number for year number three. So we'll take 8% of 23328, and that gives us 1866.24. And so we add those two now, and that'll give us 25194.24. So that's only the quest that's only for question A. That is the total that should pay back 25194.24. Now to work out the monthly payment, very easy. In three years, that would be three times twelve, because there's twelve months in a year, so that's thirty-six months. So we will just say the total 25194.24. This is for question B, by the way. Then we're just going to divide that by 36, and that'll give us 699.84. So that's our answer there 699.84.